Hello YouTube and welcome to the channel. Now then, on today's video, unfortunately, we are going to be reviewing this stuff. It's Steel Seal's Blown Head Gasket Repair Liquid. Uh, now, it's not sort of a review you look forward to doing on your car, but needs must as a devil rides. Now, long story short, we've got a little Nissan Micra. Wife was driving it home the other day, water pump let go, dumped all its coolant. Um, before she had, she realised what was going on, car overheated. Um, now we got the water pump uh, fixed, but unfortunately, I think when it overheated, it's taken the head gasket with it as well. Um, we're getting a lot of vapour out of the exhaust. It runs slightly rough and there's a few bubbles bubbling around the uh, radiator so i think uh, we've definitely got some exhaust gas in entering into the cooling system so anyway um it's a 22 year old car it's probably not worth fanning around with getting head gasket repaired and uh, the mechanic seems to think so as well uh, he did actually recommend this um he said he's used it before on cars to fix head gaskets and he said it might work might not so it's worth a try anyway um like I say, it's a damn sight cheaper than a head gasket. I think this was 36 quid on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. So anyway, yeah, uh, before we scrap the car, uh, one last ditch attempt to repair it. Uh, we're going to bang some of this in, see if it fixes the head gasket. We've got nothing to lose, really. I mean, it has got a money-back guarantee, this stuff. So if it doesn't work, hopefully you can get your money back. Now, uh, one stipulation I've read on the back is we need some ethylene glycol antifreeze. So I've gone out and bought a tub of that of that we're going to uh, flush the old stuff out going to bang some uh, the recommended coolant in going to bang the steel seal in follow the instructions and you never know miracles might happen it might just fix it show you what's happening while the engine's running we're getting a few bubbles coming out of the radiator there uh, we've started to have a bit of a white smeg form in the top of the filler cap and take you around the back of the car hang on there's a continuous so that probably can't tell on the camera, unfortunately. But there's a, there is con a continuous amount of white smoke coming out, even when the car's up to temperature. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's all it's quite wet there still. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the head gasket has gone on this. So our first job is to get rid of all the old coolant because I'm not sure it's compatible with the steel seal. Uh, I'm going to wait till the engine's stone cold as per the instructions and then we're going to refill it with the ethylene glycol and the steel seal and basically run it up to temperature see if it cures it. Right then the moment of truth, the motor is cold, I flushed all the old coolant out so there's none of that left in there. I'm going to top up with some of the recommended blue ethylene glycol, uh, add the bottle of steel seal into directly into the radiator and follow the instructions basically. Okay, that's the whole bottle of steel seal in. The next thing it says to do on the instructions is turn the heater and fan to maximum, start the engine and run vehicle up to temperature. Once vehicle reaches operating temperature, idle for 30 minutes, turn off vehicle, allow to cool completely. So that's precisely what we're going to do. Right, the car is up to temperature. It's been sat like this for about 20 minutes. It's got another 10 minutes to go before we shut it off according to the instructions. Um, needles bang in the middle where it should be I suppose uh, it's still got a little bit of white smoke out the exhaust not not a lot granted but there's still a bit coming out I don't know if you can just about see that there's a little bit of water leaking out of it it's very difficult to tell at this point whether it's actually worked or not but I suppose we'll find out like I say it's got another 10 minutes to go and then we can shut it off and see, <laughs> see what happens Right then, this is day two, let the car cool down overnight. Uh, we've just taken it for a little run out. Um, just thought I'd just check. It's up to operating temperature at the moment, hasn't it? Overheated or anything, the gauge is pretty steady. Uh, I'm getting in the occasional bubble out of the radiator and exhaust smoke wires. Let's go to the back. Uh, very little indeed, you probably can't tell, just, yeah. Not as much as it was, but it's still not completely disappeared. Um, temperature is pretty much rock solid, it hasn't moved. Uh, might cycle it a few more times and uh, see what it's like then. But at the moment, it's better 
but it's not quite fixed. Much, much, much later. Okay then, it's been about two weeks. I've left it about two weeks since shooting the final part of this video. Um, the car's been in pretty much daily use, only short trips really. Um, still getting a certain amount of bubbles out of the top of the radiator. I mean, the engine's still running. There's, uh, I'll show you in a minute, there's no smeg formed in the top of uh, the oil filler cap. There's nothing on the dipstick. Um, there you go. It is still pushing some air out. Now I have had to top the radiator up a couple of times uh, during those couple of weeks. Uh, only with sort of, you know, a quarter of a litre of coolant, but it's probably been about two or three times I've had to do it. Um, let's just have a look at the, I'll show you the what's coming out of the exhaust. I think the car's roughly up to temperature. I mean, there's a, I bet you can't see it on the camera again. There's like a whiff of white smoke. I mean, it is sort of roughly up to temperature, this thing. Um, I mean, it hasn't overheated. I mean, the temperature does stay pretty stable. Um, it has dipped down a couple of times, which is a bit strange. Uh, but like I say, the thing is still running, but I don't think it's been fully cured. While the engine is off, I will just quickly show you underneath the oil filler cap. Um, now, there, there used to be a little bit of white schmooze uh, forming under there, but that has completely disappeared, I will say that. Uh, and, oh, there's nothing on the dipstick. Apart from plenty of oil. So that has disappeared, uh, but I'm not 100% convinced that the steel seal has fully cured it. It does run a little bit rough still, um, and occasionally, once or twice when it was hot, it did take a little bit longer to start. Um, but two weeks on, I mean, the thing is still running, so it has done something, but I don't think it's cured it. Right then, back inside, what do we think of Steel Seal here? Has it permanently repaired the head gasket on my car? Uh, and I'm going to say on the balance of things, no it hasn't, unfortunately, in this case. I mean, it might. there might be cases where it does, but in my case, uh, I'm still having issues with it, even though it is manageable. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you what it has done. I, I don't think it's permanently repaired the head gasket, but I'll tell you what it has done. It has bought a bit of time. Like I say, it's been in there two weeks. I've had to top the radiator up a, a few times with, a, you know, a drop of a coolant. Um, it's made the uh, symptoms manageable, if you like. Long term, I don't think it's a viable option for, you know, repairing a head gasket. I think you'd have to get it done pre properly and have a, a proper mechanical repair. Um, but in the short term, it might just buy you a bit of time. Um, it's allowed us to sort of, you know, we're looking for another car now. Uh, it's not worth repairing that one, unfortunately. Um, so, yes, uh, it hasn't worked in my case, but it has allowed us uh, to, to continue to use the car for a period of time. It wouldn't have lasted this long, I'm sure, without this stuff in. Um, it does say fixed or refunded, so uh, I mean, it hasn't fixed it permanently, so I will be chasing Steel Seal for a refund. Uh, see how far that gets me. Um, but in my case, would I recommend it? Ooh, uh, not if you want a permanent repair, but possibly if you want to buy yourself some time, um, yes. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video and you find it of use and interest, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're feeling that way inclined, I'd really appreciate a subscribe from you. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you again very, very soon.